Laguna promised me an amazing waterfall, and he surely delivered. Halstilt is a beautiful town, and we've enjoyed many a picnic overlooking the falls on one side and Gairanga Fjord on the other. In the warm summer sunshine, a special treat. The Grand Hotel where Conan Doyle, the writer of Sherlock Holmes, stayed when he visited here. The view of the waterfall from the bridge. And salmon do swim up this one, though not at this time of the year. The factory outlet where the best thermal underwear is made next to the bridge built in 1907 as we left I got one last shot from the top bridge what a spectacular sight for a town next to the fjord and waterfall amidst the mountains. We're in western Norway, traveling west to Volda, needing one more ferry ride. We were soon passing through the beautiful valley of Noringsdalen, unspoilt over the centuries, where the cowgirls' huts can still be seen. The huts are built against the rock at the back to protect from the weather, and the windowless hut on the left is for the cows. The huts being to protect both cows and girls from the severe weather. Even so, the valley gives some shelter and provides water. As usual, Gunnar is proud to point out that the water is the purest on the planet. I had no choice but to follow suit. I'm gonna drink this water. The cows up there, I just hope they didn't pee in the river. They peed in the river. Here's the verdict. The water is really good. A really fresh taste. Uh, but I think a little hint of cow pee in there. I think it's any, any water you see and you can drink of. Any water. Gunnar said, any water you see, you can drink. It was a very special valley. Then we arrived at the Union Hotel in Oya, a famous place where many celebrities have stayed and even royalty, and where Gunnar and I had a coffee. The room rates were not that expensive, but the place was really beautiful, in the old style. One can imagine Sir Arthur Conan Doyle sitting there writing about Holmes and Watson and Mariotti. This was a favorite place of his, and a room is named after him. Then on to get the ferry.
In the evening sun, the fjord was beautiful. When we finally reached Volda, it was late. This shot was taken at 11.30 at night from Gunas home. Guna is certainly fortunate to live in such a beautiful location. I was staying right in the center of the town and took my morning walk after breakfast around the delightful harbor. It was filled with all kinds of vessels, the sailing boats, the fishing boats, and today, about 25 miles from the open sea, quite calm. A quiet scene, but with lots happening. For me as a visitor, I was observing the things around me and wishing I could jump aboard a boat and take a spin. My best friend in the Channel Islands is a fisherman and I always take some trips with him. Believe it or not, he's half Norwegian, and as I sat here and surveyed the nautical scene before me, breathing the sea air, there was a sense of nostalgia, especially at seeing the fishing boats. Every now and then, the Volkestad ferry would arrive from the opposite side of the fjord. There's something about trains and boats and planes that always lifts me. So the ferry comes in, and the people, and then the cars get off. And life goes on. And then the ferry leaves. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I then got Guna to don a wetsuit and take my subscribe sign into the bay and poke it out of the water to remind people to subscribe to my channel. So please do it at the end of the film. By the way, if you think Norway is a cold, God-forsaken country to the north of everything, take another look. It's not as cold as you think. And God used it to create his poetic masterpiece for all to enjoy.
And when the winter and the snows come and the lake freezes, the inhabitants get out their skis and ice skates and even shed tears when winter abandons them. I've been sitting here for about uh, 20 minutes so far. Just a beautiful place and uh, snow-capped mountains in the background and uh, the ferries keep coming in. All the boats in the harbour are just in front of me here. But still, it just gives me an opportunity to say this is a really great place. Coming up on Exion, a boat on the fjord, Guna's magnificent boat and his wonderful daughter and granddaughter join us for the trip. Amazing scenery, relaxing times, unforgettable. <laughs> <laughs> 